Will Gidman became just the fifth Gloucestershire player in the club's history to take ten wickets and score a century in the same championship match as he saw his side thrash Leicestershire by an innings and 138 runs inside three days in Bristol. Gidman had already secured his best ever bowling figures and his best ever score in this match, but he and his teammates still had work to do as the third day got underway with the struggling visitors 339 runs behind on 60 for one in their second innings. The informed Ned Eckersley had scored 32 of those runs off the same number of balls and he continued to play his shots at the start of the third morning, which saw him to his 8.50 of the summer many of those coming in recent weeks of just his 47th delivery. That was his 11th four as he again shone brightly in what has undoubtedly been his breakthrough season. Not even Will Gidman could stop him in his tracks. The morning was one of the better sessions Leicestershire have had for some while and it was one which was being enjoyed by Angus Robson too. After making a duck in his debut first class innings, he'd worked hard for an hour on the previous evening and he was now being rewarded for that as he began to find his range. These two took their partnership into three figures, with Eckersley looking certain to post his fifth ton of the summer as he struck a six before moving into the 80s. He was on 84 when he was surprisingly out, missing a paddle off Tom Smith to be bowled around his legs, which ended the second wicket partnership on 130. Robson, meanwhile, needed only a single to record his maiden 50, but Gidman then had him caught behind for his seventh wicket of the match. After lunch, there was a procession of batsmen coming in and getting out. Smith returned, and with his first ball of a second spell, he had Matt Boyce LBW for 19 at 180 for four. That became 192 for five, as Josh Cobb nervously nicked Craig Miles behind. And then Shiv Thakor's bad run continued as he was sent back by Ben Rain, a wicket which just about summed up the way Leicestershire have played in the last month or two. Indeed, they were heading for their sixth successive defeat and their fourth loss by an innings in their last five LV County Championship matches when Smith had James Sykes taken behind by Gareth Roderick. So Gidman now needed the last three wickets to match the likes of WG Grace, Charlie Townsend, Charlie Barnett and Mike Proctor taking 10 wickets and scoring a ton in the same game. He took his tally of victims to eight by having an angry reign splendidly held by Michael Klinger in the slips. It was a career best in a match with the ball for Gidman the Younger when he bowled Matthew Hoggard for a duck in his next over. And then after Ollie Freckingham had played a few shots to make 30, the best score of his short career, Gidman created history by becoming the first man to do the double at Neville Road as he also disturbed the stumps of Freckingham with a perfect top of the off stump delivery. He added figures of 4 for 28 to his first inning 6 for 15 to take the extraordinary analysis of 10 for 43 from this match to go with his career best 143 made on the second day. It was the performance of the summer. Leicestershire had stumbled again from 143 for one to 261 all out to lose by an innings in 138 runs in a game where Gloucestershire's debutant Matt Taylor was not needed with either bat nor ball. Gloucestershire took the maximum of 24 points from the game which means they are likely to be 32 points off the promotion places with only two games to go. Leicestershire having an awful run and now 43 points adrift at the foot of the table and probably can't wait until the end of this month.